I thought I'd make a few videos on some of my favorite plugins in Obsidian that I use because there's some really powerful little ones and they tend to escape under the radar sometimes because they don't have what's perceived as being an enormous amount of power. But there's a few that I really like that I thought I would mention. The first one is called Beauty Tab. Now, what it does, it means you can put a background in any new tab like the one that you see on the screen. There's also uh, a, a range of different, let's have a look here, we'll pull them up. Beauty Tab, there you can, this is a custom one, but you can also pull up ones for winter, spring, summer. There's a, a range of them with different images attached to it that you can display in new tabs. So that's just a quick one to, to mention there. But the one that I really want to talk about today in particular is one called Typewriter Scroll. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate it when the cursor gets down to the bottom of the screen and you've got to continually be scrolling up. So let's just go to this note here, which is on Good Arts Law, and we'll go down to here. And this is what would normally happen to start typing. So here we have the bottom, and, and I'm going down behind it now because I'm just going to go across here. And now you can see that it's gone behind my other little menus that I have down the bottom of the screen as well, which is totally useless, unacceptable, and will drive you crazy. So let's do it another way. So I'll pull this up here and delete that for a start. Take that back down there. Now we'll go across to Community Plugins right, and Browse. And what we're looking for is one called Typewriter Scroll. Now, 57,000 downloads. It's written by Gordon Pedersen, who's an Australian from Melbourne, not too far away from me, which is great. And you can see that I do have it installed. But there's another one here, Typewriter. I haven't had a look at that. It was updated three days ago. It may do the same thing. Not sure. Maybe worth exploring the two and decide which one suits you. But I'm quite happy with what I've got here at the moment. Now, the first thing we'll do is we enable it and then we'll have a look at the options that it has. So it's, it's enabled. Now the center offset is the position on the screen where you want the cursor to appear. So it'll be top, bottom or in the middle. So in the middle is probably a reasonably nice place there. Now Zen mode, it darkens any of the non-active lines so that you can focus on what you're typing on and the level of the Zen opacity can be adjusted as well. Now, I'm going to leave those off just for the moment because we've got the typewriter scrolling to toggled on. We're going to close this and we're going to now go down here and start typing again and you'll see what happens. As soon as I put the cursor there, it jumped. Now, so if I start typing, you watch where it goes. Here we start. And you can see that it's gone up and put the cursor in the middle of the screen where I can focus on what's before and after the content and if there's nothing after it well then it will just be blank but I can I'm constantly looking at the center of the screen rather than the top or the bottom so let's just delete that again and we'll go back over to the setting and we'll have a look at what these Zen modes do we'll turn on the Zen mode the opacity of the lines in Zen mode we'll bring that down to there and then we'll close this again and we'll Hit the, the type, and you can see that it has got rid of all of that. So I'm focused just on the block that I'm typing. Now, that might be good for some people. I like to look back a fair bit to see where I'm going with an idea. So I might like it a little bit lighter so I can adjust the opacity. Click it there, and it's just not as dark. All right, so let's see if we can find a happy medium, probably in the middle. Yeah, so there you go. That's highlighted, but you can still read that quite clearly. So if I take it back down here to the bottom, put in the cursor, and just even hitting the space bar, it immediately relocates the cursor to the middle of the screen. So fantastic little plugin. I really love it. I wouldn't be without it. I hope you find a lot of use for it, and it's valuable to you in when you're typing away in Obsidian. Cheers. <music>